Welcome to my channel. Today we will see a C++ program to print calendar of a month. So what we need is to get first day of the month, uh, like the first day of the month, June 2020 is Monday. So we will write a function to get the num the day of the month, and then we will write a function to get number of days in the month. For example, if the month is June, then number of days are 30. And uh, we will also check if the year is leap and the month given is February. So we will check uh, accordingly if the if it is a leap year, then it will return 29 or and, and if it is not a leap year, then it will return 28. So let's move on to the program site. So first of all, we will write about day of month function, the function which will tell us the which number, which day of month it is, whether it is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or. So this function will have three arguments, day, month and year respectively. So inside we will first uh, check for the the years which uh, the month which have an extra day for example the uh, February sometime in leap year it has an extra day so to get rid of that we will write this statement but this statement will do uh, see we have series of our month from 1 to 12 so for every month which is less than 3 I um, mean the month of January and February, which are one and two less than three. So this will reduce the value index value of the first month and second month by a number respectively. So the month of, so the index for the month of January will, will become zero and February will become one. Uh, so this statement will execute for both the month which is leap and which is not leap so to balance this we will write another statement which will be array of integer so this will have a series of 12 number uh, each for a month this will help us return the true value of the day of the month and let me write the return value first then we will so in return statement, we will add some statements like year plus year divided by four, and then we will write two statement which will check for the leap year. Then they become comes about of the array we declare. We will pass on the index number according sorry minus one so this statement will return the number of days accordingly with respect to the month I mean we have decreased the month uh, index of the month respect uh, here maybe for january and february so this will check up the leap year if it is leap year then it will add accordingly numbers which are placed here and if these are not uh, the leap year then this will add the the so own numbers, the, the months greater than three, the number of days to be added accordingly. Then we will add up the days and wind this up. And this will all be modulus with seven. So this statement will return the true uh, value of the day of the month. This will return the indexes from 0 to 6 0 for the monday and 0 for the sunday and 0 sorry for the monday and 6 for the sunday so so now we will write our number of day function number of day function will also have Two arguments uh, the first one is month and the second one is year 
so it will have some conditions like if the month is equal to sorry one or the month is equal to so the month number one three month number seven eight and month number 10 and month number 12 these are the month which have 31 days so this condition will check whether the past uh, parameter of the month is one of these months so then it will return 31 and If the month is the fourth one, six, nine or eleven, then this will return thirty one. Sorry, I have missed one here. The May month also has. 31 days so all through this will return 30 and the last condition which will check whether the year is leap or not that's why we have passed just hourly an extra parameter of them so and year Modulus four hundred is equal to zero. There zero equal as well. So if these are equal to zero and the month is equal to two, then we consider the year as leap year. So it will return twenty nine days in L spot for this. Not in the first. If year is not equal to also here not equal to and the month is two then it will return twenty eight. We can also write down the L spot but this will not gonna execute that because these R operator are used here. So after this, we will write our printing statements. So I just will, if all these conditions are wrong, then it will simply return zero. So after this, we will write our printing statement, print the, uh, the calendar and the format of the calendar. Uh, so first of all, we will uh, write some variables to allow user to enter input of his will. So a same statement to enter the month as well. Uh, so after taking input from the user we will display these first of all that year and the month which are being input by the user So 
so after this we will print the name of our day months which are sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday So after this, we will use a loop, first an outer loop, which will determine the day of the month. Day of the month function. So it will have three uh, arguments. First day, so we will pass one as we want our um, calendar of the month will display from the very first month then the month variable and year variables which are being input by the user so after checking this we will assign appropriate spaces if any so this function will first check up the value on the day of the month for example, if a user enters June 2020, then the first day of the month should be Monday. And this will return a zero value. This, is, this index will be zero. So this loop will not uh, execute and there will be no spaces. Uh, first of all, assign. So after this, we will write another loop to print the series of number uh, k equals zero, k less than number of day of month. So here I write it down. Wrong. Number of days function. So it has two argument, month and the year. Okay, so this will check for the number of days. Sorry, I have to assign one here as we have to print the series from one. So this will just start printing the value of K then spaces accordingly to fill this and then we will check a condition if um, so now in order to print the uh, day calendar in the right order we will just do some stuff here we have that value variable which is our index to increase the uh, day uh, number I mean zero is for sunday and six is for saturday so we will increment its value each time the loop will execute and if the value exceeded six i mean it should be start again from Sunday so the control should be moved to next line and value of k will be again zero so the uh, objective of writing this is this condition is to move the control to the next line to print an order of our seven uh, days only from zero to six I mean sunday to saturday if uh, this goes greater than uh, six then this will keep on printing in a straight line it will not move to the line below so this is our this is it this is our code so we will see the output now 
I will run it and so you will enter year and the month. So we can see the calendar on the screen at I think please start from Monday and ends with 30 days in it. The June month has 2020 has only 30 days so this was it this is over